Yo, what's up guys? My name is JT and we're gonna open up this box right here on Model Railroad in the Southwest. So the contents of this box is extremely unexpected. I was expecting this stuff to come around August of this year. What's in this box is some heritage cars from the Union Pacific from Walder's Proto. So let's go ahead and check it out. Alrighty guys, so here we are. Here is the first one, which is the Promontory baggage car with the experience, the Union Pacific right there on the side of the graphics. This thing is really nice. I have not opened it up yet, so I can't tell how nice it is, but I'm really excited to get it. So here is the end of it here. Here's the 85 foot AFC baggage car, and this is a Heritage Series, the Promontory experience car. So let's go ahead and take a look at the other ones. So this is the city of Selena. This is another heritage car. And here's the Carbotten one. Here's the end of this one. There is another box we got to open up, and I'll put that one on the table here real quick, and we'll go ahead and take a look at these cars. Alrighty, guys, so I actually forgot there is actually two more boxes that we got to open up. Here is the second one from Train World. The first one was from Train World as well. The third one is going to be from Midwest Model Railroad, so we'll open up that just after this one. So let's take a look at what's in this one right here. Oh, that tape is pretty tough, huh? Alrighty. Wow. I wasn't kidding. Wow, I guarantee you guys my knife is not dull. This is just not wanting to open up or something. Alright, let's see. There we go. Okay. So this is an Atherin Genesis model. It is an Atherin Genesis 2.0 with the Tsunami 2 sound. And this is a Union Pacific SD90 Mac. This is going to be really nice. I kind of bought this one out of the blue just like I did the 844 if you guys saw that video. I did not expect to buy this. I just saw it and I just had to have it. So let's go ahead and open up the third box and let's see what's in that one. Alrighty guys, so here is the third box and this one is from Midwest Model Railroad. So let's open this up and see what it got. And this is another Union Pacific Heritage Unit, or a Heritage uh, Car, and this is the Texas Eagle. So let's get these out on the lazy season and let's take a closer look. Alrighty guys, so here they are sitting on the workbench because they did not fit on the lazy season. They were too big and they didn't all fit on it. It didn't look good. Anyway, so here they are. So if you remember back in November of last year, if you saw the video of when I bought the big boy at the train show, I wanted to build a very nice Union Pacific Heritage train. Now, when I bought that big boy, I bought a different road number from 4014 specifically because I really wanted to hold out until Scale Trains produces their big boy. And I know they're gonna make one because I spoke to them and they told me they were gonna release one in the future. And also they have MTH's tooling for the big boy. They just told me that they have a lot of stuff they need to correct on that tooling and they will produce it, like I said, in the near future, but I don't know what the near future means to them. Anyway, so here is the first four cars for the Heritage, heritage Train that I'm going to build. 
these are from Waller's Proto. These are very, very nice cars. Like I said earlier in the video, these were unexpected, extremely unexpected because I was told, or not I was told, but I was notified that they won't be here till August later this year, and the rest of the cars won't be here till next year in March sometime. That's what it says on the Waller's um, website. So hopefully those other cars come in sooner because that'll be very nice. Anyway, so the first car that I'm going to show you guys is the baggage car, and that is a promontory one with the graphics that says Experience the Union Pacific. Very nice baggage car. What I really like about it is that it has three axles per truck. Now this car is pretty heavy. You know, for being a plastic car, it's very nice, very nice and uh, heavy, and there's pretty good detail. So this video really isn't going to be like a review just kind of like an overview to show you guys these cars that i got recently so here is the city of selena car and these all have knuckle couplers on them the next one is the texas eagle and the other one is a carbon one so none of these cars are lighted you know i kind of regret not getting the lighted ones but if you added all the cars that are produced for this run, it was going to be like $250 extra just to get lighted cars. And the lighted thing is really cool, don't get me wrong, but I don't think it was worth the extra $250 because I can get another diesel engine for that price. Or just light these up myself. You know, it's pretty easy. Just buy some LEDs on eBay and get some wires and some resistors and there you go. So... So here's the start of the Heritage train that I'm going to build. There's more to come. I just wanted to show you guys a quick, you know, overview of these cars and just a really quick um, kind of introduction to the Heritage train that I'm going to build. And I will keep you guys updated on the future cars that are going to come. So let's go ahead and take a look at that SD90 Mac. Okay, so this is the Athern Genesis 2.0 SD90 Mac in Union Pacific Colors. This is not going to be a review, it's just an overview to show you guys this engine and show you guys how it looks. So, I cannot get over how big these engines are. I already have some SD70 ACUs and I just can't get over how big those are either. When you compare them to an SD70 AC, which is a really big engine itself, it pretty much dwarfs it. So anyway, let's take a quick look at this engine. So I'm going to show you guys the front of it. Here is the front of the engine which is really well detailed I really like the way those number boards look and one thing that I wanted to point out about this engine in particular I'm not sure if any other engines do this and I really haven't bought any other engines other than SD70 ACEs and a couple of other stuff from uh, Athern uh, Genesis lately but you can actually remove the cab roof on this one in particular so I don't know if any of the other SD70 AMs or any of the SD60 AMs you can remove the roofs or anything on those ones but this one you can which is really neat because you can see the inside of the cab so with this engine um, being the 2.0 series it has the ground lights on either side which looks really neat and in order to enjoy those you really gotta mess with the CVs to bring up the um, brightness on those lights as well just so that you can actually see them because from the factory they're not bright at all um, in order I can tell you guys how to do that and if you want you can take a look at my review on the DDA 40 X I can tell you guys what CVs to change on that one so you can take a look at that video if you want to see what CV, CVs to change so this engine has a ton of uh, etched metal grills and stuff so I really like the rear of this engine I think it has a ton of character I just think it looks really neat the etched metal grill on top right here is just really nice it looks really good there is a ton of underbody and under sill detail it just looks like a very good looking model if you are on the fence about buying one of these, I highly recommend one of these. One of my favorite aspects of this engine in particular is this grill right here. It is a very nice looking stainless steel 
grill and that is etched metal and another aspect I like about the engine in general is this walkway how it's elevated over this compartment I think that just looks really cool and you can it just gives the illusion or the effect of this engine having a ton of detail I believe that this was never made before except in brass I think that's what I was reading somewhere I think a review that Atherin Genesis created this one um, for the first time in plastic ever and it was only ever produced in brass before this so I'm gonna take this engine and put it on the layout and put those new four cars behind this and we're, we're gonna see what this sounds like and what those look like those, what those cars look like being pulled down the track Alrighty guys, so that's pretty much it for the video. I'm looking forward to finishing off this heritage train in the future. If you guys have any sort of questions or comments, go ahead and put it down below. If you guys want to send me an email, go ahead and find my email address at my YouTube info on my channel. So that's pretty much it guys. Talk later, take care, and keep between the rails.